Hey there, um, so as you can see, I'm currently dealing with a poster crisis where posters just will not stay on my wall, but that's okay. Wow, that was really bright, I'm sorry. I didn't realize how bright that window was gonna be. But this is just kind of a quick check-in vlog because it has been a week. Oh no, I'm covering the camera. So yeah, this is a quick check-in vlog because it has been a week. So essentially, the way things are working right now is for the last five days, because I was a dummy, uh, we didn't have any heat in this house at all. Um, well, I guess like we had, uh, thank goodness for my roommate, because she had some electric heaters we could plug in, like there's this fake electric fireplace and this uh, oscillating heat fan she had in her room, so it kept us like toasty enough and kept the house a uh, reasonable temperature for the most part so thanks heavens for her but yeah our furnace uh ran off oil because i'm a dummy so basically the way this turned out was it was just i was how to phrase it i was responsible for like making sure our oil tank in our lease it's uh yo is your job to uh keep the oil tank full so you have to have automatic filling with this company so that way no matter what if it empties it's their fault not yours so it's like yeah, okay sure so i called them up and i gave them my prepaid credit card now that's called Chekhov's gun so yeah, I gave them my prepaid credit card and I thought everything was hunky dory. We were good to go. Yeah, yay. But it wasn't. After a while of leaving voicemails that I didn't notice because uh, there's something going on with my phone's voicemail feature that I gotta work out. They just kind of are like, yeah, you ran out of oil, okay. Uh, so we sorted that out, got a tank full and everything, and we had the bleeding started. So, mm, link in the bottom, if you don't know what a bleeding start is, I'm not trying to explain it, but essentially there's error in the pipe that happens from the tank to the furnace and that uh air prevents it from starting up so you kind of have to bleed out the air using a special screw but we stripped that screw because i didn't know what i was doing and then uh we had to wait till payday so that i could hit up that uh best burners to get a repair job so thank you best burners actually real shout out to them because here's the deal when i first got my quote they were like 200 bucks 180 if you don't need to replace a specific part which spoilers we didn't have to replace that specific part but we paid like 117 for it because here's what happened. I gave them a call yesterday and I was like, yo, I need a repair job tomorrow. And they're like, we're booking into February. Uh, and I know that like the emergency services have like the surcharge. And my roommate guessed it was 80 based on accounts of some of her friends and coworkers. So I was like, oh, okay, I guess we'll have to get the emergency. And then the woman's like, What's your address? Because I'd already called them and the manager had like chewed me out for using pliers when we were trying to bleed and start our furnace. So anyway, like there were notes on my file. But she's like, what's your address? So I gave her my address and then she was just like, I can get one to you tomorrow, but I can't promise when. So I was just like, crap, okay. I'll do it. And they came. They came first thing in the morning. Like it was like 10 to 15 when they showed up. Everything was right. They bleeded in a minute, replaced the part. I'm pretty sure he did the entire thing with his hands because this is such a pro. I'm so grateful that that all happened. But yeah, no, it was all done. And now we have heat in the apartment and I don't have to wear like 12 layers to stay even an iota warm. But yeah, no, uh, that's what's been up with me and why this video is coming up on a Saturday. So I'm so sorry about that. Uh, you'll probably see another video in less time than a week. Uh, I had a bunch of plans on Monday, but just kind of like the cold and everything uh, is kind of deterring me. So that's what's going on there. Lessons learned. Pre-K credit cards aren't worth. I'm a swore.
I'm trying to stop that on videos, you know, keep it family friendly or whatever. But yeah, that's what's up. So, uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any fun heating stories in the comments down below or uh, horror stories with your prepaid credit cards. Beyond that, keep on gaming. Don't forget to be awesome and let your heart be your guiding key.